With me now on set here is in New York is CBS News digital journalist Sopan Deb. Sopan covered the Trump campaign from the very beginning. Good to see you. Hey, man. Thanks for having me. All right. So let's talk about uh, this little video message. What'd you make of it? Your first impression? Well, it's a lot of what we heard from the campaign trail, right? We had, you know, uh, negotiate, negotiate fair bilateral trade deals, you know, cancel what he calls job ki killing restrictions. As you mentioned, Tui left out uh, repealing and replacing Obamacare. Um, that'll still be, I imagine, a big part of his early platform. Uh, he campaigned on it early and often at every single campaign stop. But what interestingly, he did tell 60 Minutes a couple weeks ago that he wants to keep a couple things in place, that he wants to keep uh, ki uh, you know, younger people be allowed to stay on their uh, parents' health insurance until mm -hmm. a little past 21, uh, wants to keep uh, being able to cover pre-existing conditions. The question is, okay, how do you repeal Obamacare and get rid of the mandate and make all that work? So I imagine that's something that they will uh, propose at some point. Um, and building the wall, again, this is something that he's talked about early, often talked about it after being uh, winning the election. I imagine that will also be a big part of his early platform, even though he didn't mention it in the first 100 days. I haven't heard anything that says that they are moving away from that. But, he, but it is interesting that that was one of the... Uh, so there are two things that I heard most when he was on the campaign trail, and you were there every step of the way. One was build that wall, build that sure, wall. Yeah. That wasn't in this video message. And the other one was lock her up, lock her up. Yeah. He didn't mention anything about that. And in that interview with 60 Minutes, he said, you know, we'll he see. doesn't want to hurt him. We'll yeah, see. Right, right. He was sort of mocked on Saturday Night Live for sort of stepping away from these key campaign platform issues that he had. Do you think that he is going to try to prosecute Hillary Clinton, and you just said you think he might still build a wall, but why not say it then if he's... Well, just this morning on MSNBC, uh, Kelly Con Kellyanne Conway said, heavily suggested that Donald Trump was not going to do so. Uh, Rudy Giuliani told reporters earlier today at Trump Tower that, uh, that you know, he would be supportive of Donald Trump's decision not to prosecute Hillary Clinton. Right. Let's, let's keep a couple things in mind. Don't forget how many things Donald Trump changed his mind on in the course of the campaign, sometimes within minutes. Yeah. And, and how many things he's flipped on over the last couple of decades, whether it's, you know, abortion or gun rights or single-payer health care. Yeah. Donald Trump changing his mind on things is not new to anybody. All right. Uh, let, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I was, uh, we have a little bit of the sound of Kellyanne Conway. Let's play that, and then we'll talk about it. So, obviously, we had the breaking news this morning that um, Donald Trump's not going to be pursuing investigations against Hillary and the administration's going to... Do you think he'll encourage Republicans on the Hill to stay away from that as well and focus more on their legislative agenda. I think when the president-elect, who's also the head of your party now, Joe, tells you before he's even inaugurated he doesn't wish to pursue these charges, <clears throat> it sends a very strong message, tone and content to the members. And I think Hillary Clinton still has to face the fact that a majority of Americans don't find her to be honest or trustworthy. But if Donald Trump can help her heal, then perhaps that's a good thing. Um, I do. Look, I think he's thinking of many different things as he prepares to become the president of the United States. And things that sound like the campaign aren't among them. So, I, do you think his, you, you were in those campaign rallies. Do you think his supporters will be upset that he's not doing this? It's funny you mentioned that because I was just looking at Breitbart and their headline for this particular, uh, you know, this notion that Trump doesn't wish to pursue charges against Clinton or appoint a special prosecutor. It says, in big, bold letters, broken promise. And so, so that'll already, be interesting. So, yeah. uh, so from that world, I imagine you'll see some pushback. Um, but let's not forget also that Donald Trump didn't just campaign on this. He told this to her face at a debate. He was, you know, T tens of thousands of people at his rallies were chanting, lock her up. The campaign sent Rudy Giuliani out no uh, to hold a number of conference calls with reporters to say, this is why Hillary Clinton is a criminal. Right. So to say now, well, we don't want to hurt him, yes, it's a, big, it's a big shift from the campaign. That's definitely for sure. All right. Um, let's talk about some of Donald Trump's tweets. Uh, on the Trump tra transition, he tweeted this morning, great meetings will take place today at Trump Tower concerning the formation of the people who will run the government for the next eight years. Who do we think he's meeting with today? And when can we expect some announcements? Yeah, so the, the meeting today, he's meeting with Dr. Ben Carson, who he just tweeted uh, just within the last couple hours that he is considering for uh, HUD secretary. Uh, he's meeting with Vice President-elect Mike Pence and also Representative Cynthia Lummis. Um, uh, 
you know, again, oh, also one other, one other interesting name is Dr. Seema Verma, who is a health policy expert out of Indiana. We haven't heard who, what the long or short list is right now for HHS, uh, Secretary of the Health and Human Services, or, you know, uh, Surgeon General. It should be uh, interesting. Um, the thing about Donald Trump's search for cabinet positions is that in, the precedent has always been to keep it as secret as possible. You know, keep the list under wraps. Donald Trump has totally blown that up. He is being very open about who he's talking to. He has a, he, you know, at Bedminster over the weekend at his golf club, he had a, you know, multiple, you know, TV cameras trained on the door to see who's coming up. He's doing mm -hmm. photo ops with everybody. He who's did. Doing. He had cameras. Well, no, no, no I'm oh, sorry. I'm talking we, about the new, news networks. Right, and news that's cameras, just right. not, that that is just not something that has been done in the past. So kind of speaks to Donald Trump's, uh, you know, showmanship. Right. Uh, in terms of when we'll hear any actual announcements, it's up to Trump. The the campaign is saying, uh, you know, you could, they could be today, they could be tomorrow, they could be next week. It's ultimately up to when Donald Trump makes the decision as far as these big cabinet appointments go. So, Pan Deb, uh, so, Pan, we, I didn't, I don't think I've had an opportunity. You were on Face the Nation uh, last week um, receiving the thanks of John Dickerson, but you also have my thanks, because without what oh. you were doing on the campaign trail for the last 17 months, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. So thank you well, very much. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Thanks, Opan.